interoperability seems the most interesting to me. What sector in real life is using the most crypto? Uh, right now, the, the sector that's using the most is uh, most likely a supply chain. Uh, so IBM's doing some really good work uh, with Hyperledger within the supply chain. Very well, that, that's I was, a quick. I was going to ask BK if folks at home are terrified of crypto, as I am, by the way. Are there are there stocks? You just mentioned IBM, but Overstock is sold off. In other words, could you do a basket of uh, traded equities? Would Micron, not Micron, excuse me, AMD, NVIDIA, Overstock, IBM, do they fit Where? into that world? They certainly do. You get more enterprise exposure rather than pure coin exposure. But, yeah, you can absolutely put together a portfolio like that. Karen, you got quick? Uh, no, they just all seem to trade together, though. Do you think that we'll start to see differentiation in the stories? I, I do think so eventually. Yeah. As this uh, asset class matures, you will see dispersion among them. But I agree with you now. They all definitely have a, a high correlation. All right, BK, we do have a tweet for you. Uh, right. The first one today is from Adam, who asks, how much of your crypto portfolio should be held in cash or U.S. dollar wallet? Uh, well, thanks for the question, Adam. To me, if you're bullish, it should be 0%. I mean, you're taking a small portion of your overall portfolio, 1% to 5%, and putting it into this asset class. That's my view. So I wouldn't hold any cash necessarily uh, if you're bullish on this space. All right, another one. I totally disagree. That is foolish because how do you make money when there's dips and these dips in the cryptocurrency and like let's just go over the charts really quick um three you know, like the last three months i mean if you're not holding cash because like like i said unless you have a crystal ball and you know where the uh, market is going um your best opportunity to buy is dips and there's no way to predict that so i do recommend doing some research on dollar cost averaging and i will be releasing more videos on that but for the most part, I would say that no matter what, at all times, you should at least have 10 to 20% cash. Why do I say that? Because of these dips. When these dips hit, man, they are quick. They're like lightning. And the best way for you to hit these dips is you got to have limit orders at, you know, really low prices so you can pick it up. So if you're 100% invested in crypto, that means you don't have any order, you know, limits um, to hit when these dips happen. And like, look how fast it recovers when there is a crash. So that's, uh, I wouldn't recommend what he's saying. I think that you should minimum at all times try to have 20%. Obviously, if, if a dip just happened and you, you know, you just picked up and you're now 100% in crypto, you should be immediately putting in some orders to uh, cash out your position. Or if you want to now increase your crypto position, transfer more money to the account. But I think you're in the danger zone if you're ever below 10% cash because you always want to buy dips. You do not want to be buying at all time highs. Um, and the only way to do that is you have to have cash and you have to be using limit orders. If you don't know what a limit order is, um, definitely uh, I, I'll do like a GDAX trading, you know, tutorial. And I'm sure you can go on some of these other YouTube channels and to figure it out. But um, those are all very, very important things that you need to learn and uh, I will definitely provide more information, but I disagree with uh, uh, BK, Brian Kelly or whatever his name is. Um, you, sh you should never be 100% equities, crypto, real estate, whatever, man. You got to have cash. Cash is king. When you have emergencies in the real world, you need cash. Um, and if you are forced to liquidate, you know, fire sell your assets, you're not going to get a good deal. So if I'm sitting on 100% real estate, and all of a sudden I have a medical bill, I have to fire sell my property or I have to go get like a hard money loan and pay really high to interest. So don't ever do that. You should always have cash. I, I say 20%, you know, if you wanna be more aggressive, you can do whatever you want. But um, I always, you know, rule of thumb, carry 20% cash because you, you, you wanna buy dips. I mean, it's as simple as that. So let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you guys soon.